Hi, I'm Paul Howard, one of the co-creators of the Hypotential Programme. And in the next few minutes, I'm going to tell you how just a few simple steps can put you back in control of your blood pressure. So you can stop living with it and start dealing with it. But first, I want to ask you a question. Are you sick of being a slave to blood pressure medication? If you're quite happy popping blood pressure pills and don't mind dealing with the side effects, then this video is not for you. After all, you may only suffer the milder side effects such as cold hands and feet or leg cramps and muscle weakness. But if you're fed up with needing the loo all the time, maybe you don't sleep well, or just feeling low, or find it's actually affecting your sex life, then this video can show you how to put yourself back in control. Don't get us wrong, blood pressure medication is a really important starting point in controlling your blood pressure. It can save your life. But it only manages the symptom, not the cause. Your doctor will be the first person to tell you that there are plenty of things you can do to get your blood pressure back into the normal range and completely remove the risk factors that high blood pressure causes. They'll tell you to lose weight, they'll tell you to exercise, to eat less salt and stop smoking. All of this is great advice, but it's only a quarter of the story. That's because there are a whole host of hidden emotional and environmental factors which cause blood pressure to rise in otherwise healthy people. These factors, which we call the X factors, include things like unresolved anger, conflict and guilt, a feeling of lack of control in your life, and even environmental stresses such as noise, allergens and pollution. Now, long-term exposure to one or more of these X factors creates an ongoing chronic stress response. And although you may long have accepted this as normal, it can add up and take its toll over a period of years. The great news is that these emotional and lifestyle factors make up 95% of all high blood pressure cases. It's what doctors call the primary or essential hypertension. So the chances are there are plenty of things that you can do quite easily that will put you back in control of reducing your blood pressure. We know this is the case as we've been doing this effectively with clients since 2003. However, there's a limit to the number of people we could help. And with 16 million people having high blood pressure in the UK alone, we realised it would take us 10 years just to help one thousandth of one percent. We decided that it simply wasn't good enough. So we developed the Hypertension program to teach other professionals our potentially life-saving techniques to reducing blood pressure. We've now trained hundreds of people worldwide to give them specialist training that they need to help people just like you to reduce blood pressure so they can look forward to living longer, healthier lives. We call them hypnotension practitioners and they can help you to identify and address the emotional and lifestyle factors that are unique to you. And with their help, you can lower your blood pressure and even return it to normal. Think about this, even if worst case, you only managed a reduction of just a couple of points on your blood pressure numbers by seeing a hypertension practitioner, it would still slash your risk of dying from a stroke by 12 to 14% and it would slash your risk of heart disease by 9 to 10%. Most people achieve much, much more than that, 20, 30 or even 40 point reduction in just a few weeks. You see, when you go to see a hypertension practitioner, they work in conjunction with your GP to help you back to a better health. This means that even if you are using medication to lower or control your high blood pressure, a hypertension practitioner can still help you address the underlying factors that cause high blood pressure. As your blood pressure reduces naturally, your doctor may feel able to reduce your medication over time, whilst of course monitoring your blood pressure. And just imagine how it would feel to walk into your doctor's surgery and have him declare you free of high blood pressure. Hi Martin, uh, nice. thanks for meeting us here in Victoria Station. Pleasure. How long had you been diagnosed with high blood pressure before you started on the hypertension program? Oh, uh, at least 12 or 13 years, I can't remember exactly. Oh, so quite, a long, quite a long time, yes. Yeah. And for how long had you been on meds for that? Ten-ish. What made you decide to 
you use the hypertension program? Uh, I just thought, well, this just seems like something that, that might work. It might be a very non-invasive way of, of addressing a medical problem that I was on, med on what looked like permanent medication for. Okay, so when you started, your numbers were, your blood pressure numbers yeah. were 165 over 105, which is quite high, isn't it? It's, it's really high considering that it's supposed to be controlled by medication and obviously that wasn't really doing as much as I would have wanted it to do. Yeah, um, yeah. it is high. So, uh, after just four sessions, you, it, your blood pressure was down to 118 over 78, mm -hmm. which is back in the normal range. Yep. Did you expect it to be changed? No, um, uh, I was and, and still am really really astonished that that dramatic difference can be achieved it, I, it really uh, I, I really I really am still quite astounded nice. by this it, it does feel that I am uh, that I, you know, the bad stuff is a bit less likely to happen to me and that's uh, that's quite a good feeling yeah, yeah. That's a good point. so make a commitment to yourself today and take some direct positive action to take control of your blood pressure and bring it down for good with the help of a local certified hypertension practitioner. Simply click the button below to get started right now.